Jack, can you hear me? Coming in here down the down the south, we got a got a hurricane. What's going on, Igor? Thanks for the sick ninety. Yep, loves mutual. Good to see y'all. Hold on a sec. Bitcoin's dumping too. Bearish hurricane. It's happening right now. So, so I have my green screen. My green screen came in. I'm not really, uh, you know, there's not really a hurricane going on, even though it seemed very real. Uh, hello. Sorry, get up. I don't even know. Okay, so um, anyway, yeah, Bitcoin in the last I don't know five minutes just do uh, dumped like maybe what thousand dollars? I mean, it's down thousand dollars on the day, and it was near you know forty eight thousand five hundred, and it just keeps keeps dumping. It's breaking a local high back from August thirteenth. And yeah, I mean, it just, it could, you could have looked at it like maybe the momentum was shifting, but you could also look at this, unfortunately, like there's the channel, right? Really nice channel. I keep lagging. And you broke out, right? You broke the channel bearish, so then you back tested it yesterday as resistance. What's up, Ross, man? Let's go, dude. Ross hits $100. Hex four hours daily thanks to Mitch Hardy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we'll look, dude. Hex up seven percent right now. Let's of course, go. right? You even surprised anymore? Really? I mean, you can't be surprised anymore with that asset. Uh, we will look at it, man. And yeah, there was one asset that was doing something that was really nice. Um, that it had, had not been doing for a while. It would kind of started. Ethereum started breaking away its correlation from Bitcoin a little bit, and um, you know it's definitely pulled back with Bitcoin right here. But uh, whatever, until you make a, you might make a lower low than forty-six thousand seven hundred. Everything's pretty good. You might be making an X A B C D right here, where you can come test the two hundred moving average again at like around forty-five thousand dollars. Here you go, sound check. Could I get a sound check? Tom standing outside of this place right now. Thank you. Okay, producer in the studio saying sounds good. Okay, so that's not really you know what we're looking for price action wise, but it's just going sideways, really, and it's going up, but it's been going sideways and it just kind of made a lower high in the previous high. Let's look at the daily. That uh, is sitting sideways, man. It's the same price today. It was August 13th. It's also the same price it was May 15th. And April 26th. And many other days, too. So, but the moving average, there's not much going on. Negative momentum right now is at its highest point since May 26th. Dang, man. May 26th. We were near the bottom. You know, we had already crashed. So, you know, anyway, so that's that negative momentum is building. The RSI is out of the bullish control zone, is at 57. And uh, of course, you could understand it could go lower. I mean, if it's below 60, neutral zone goes all the way to 41. So there has been pretty much no pullback here at all. Like, no like real major retracer of any sort. So, same wave, probably. Okay, so that's your daily. Let's go to Ethereum real quick because that's like second largest crypto. And as you can see, what a nice uh, run to the upside today. It was up over 3%. Really like that higher low. I mean, I thought Bitcoin was making a higher low too. But um, Ethereum definitely, I mean, it's reaccumulation. Look, I mean, you made the low August 9th, then you made a higher low August 18th, then you're making a higher low August 26th, and now the 29th. So above the heart line, and I mean, you'd think that. The asset could maybe go test the top of the channel again. And would that be weird to be some sort of a W shape, right? Yeah, almost like a like a butterfly. All right, you think about a one for one four, leave it to the imagination there. Yeah. Something like that. Of course, uh, maybe never if Bitcoin really 
dumped or something. That's not happening. Okay, it, it's going to reverse whenever Bitcoin decides to majorly reverse. But if Bitcoin's not majorly reversing and dumping right here, Ethereum could continue its ascent up. It's a really nice uh, run today. So, but, you know, just saying, same price right now it was August 13th, just like Bitcoin. Okay, but something really nice happened on the Ethereum to Bitcoin pair. Look at this beautiful falling wedge. Dang, man. Oops, sorry, that's... You can't see that. There you go. That's a beautiful, beautiful falling wedge and a breakout today. And you know, you're just in between two major inflection points, you know, 5.7 million and 8.2 million. So not sure exactly if it's going to make it up there, but what a breakout today. And it just was hanging out at that 200 moving average as well. Wow, a lot of divergence on the MACD in the end. So that could continue. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Ethereum continued to pump, man. All the NFT stuff going on right now is like, you got to pay attention to that. That's amazing. That's use case. People are legitimately using a crypto for fun and they're having a good time and they're making money. And it's like this really cool thing that hasn't really ever happened in crypto before. Like ever. Yeah, Bitcoin, store value. It's, you know, it's blockchain. Not like this, man. This is different. Oh, Brave Browser, no one cared about Bat Browser, you know, like whatever, you know, talking about things that were practical in the last cycle. None of this ever happened. So pay attention, Ethereum, outperformer, could continue to outperform. There's no green screen, man. I'm literally down here and it's bad weather, dude. Okay, Dow's your Ethereum, great day so far. Thanks, Bitcoin, for ruining it. I mean, you're breaking a local high here on Bitcoin. I mean, it's not confirmed yet, but... <sighs> breaking the local high, you probably could be going down to 46.8. The next level. Dang, are you sure it's not too loud? This is insane. I'm waiting on my producer to tell me if it's, it's a little loud. This is so effing stupid. I don't know, I just like, might as well just not have music, dude. So it's so annoying, like having to wonder every single day. Okay, let's go to Hex. Because it is, well, I mean, Ross is in the house. So guess what just happened? Unlike Bitcoin, <laughs> pathetic. Uh, Hex made a four-hour bullish engulfing candle. Bullish Mar Bazoo, probably because of a little liquidity, but um, really nice there and catching some fall through price action. Somehow, man, this is just ridiculous. Hidden bullish divergence on the four-hour on Hex right now. There it is, man. Yeah, I can hear it. It's some really, it's like, really feminine male screaming. I, I could barely hear it. So, uh, impending price action continuation applied on hex. Twenty-five cents target. Yeah, you may, I'm, you're probably gonna get it, man. Probably gonna get it. So, like, it's got, it's gotten it every single time before. All right, good luck. Like Hex needs good luck, because it's the only thing doing this, like this, man. There might be like one or two others. Yeah, not not like Cream that got an exploit today and it dumped. Here you go, man, trash products. Okay, it happens sometimes. Okay, so let's look at total that doesn't look near as bad as Bitcoin. You know why, right? Because Ethereum. Ethereum's the only reason the total is just not making lower prices, right? I don't know. Let's see. I'm looking at the daily here. No, I'm looking at the four. Yeah, that, that's exactly why. Yeah, it's because Ethereum. 
And again, on this one, you did the same thing as Bitcoin. You, you broke out of the channel. I don't know, you, you kind of back, tried to back test it August 29th, just like Bitcoin. You didn't quite get there, so. And man, is there anything? Dude, I, my computer keeps freezing. I don't know why. It's so weird. Nothing but bearish convergence. Well, it was a bearish convergence, then it started becoming bullish convergence. So there's no, like, real edge or anything right now. At all, so... Yeah, the daily. Not much of anything. I mean, you're above $2 trillion, but there's no real support resistance until 2.21 or 1.78. So it's just hanging out, man. Yep, Bitcoin. There it goes, man. Let's go back to it. It's continuing to dump, man. It's the lowest point. And this is what I was talking about. Like, you know, worst case scenario. So we're creating some sort of M shape right now. Yeah, they'd be like a garly, man, right? Like that's where you could see this asset fall to if it's made that lower high there. You could go to $45,300 for the PCZ, maybe of a garly or something, right? I mean, just. You understand? This could, could be where it's headed if it doesn't get back above 47.9. Just the local high from August 14th. Just be continuing to churn along. Love the green screen. Got a new Thanks, channel. man. It's not a green screen, though. Looking I'm out forward here. to getting back into the Patreon and hanging out on Thursday evenings. Cheers, Todd P. Thanks, dude. Uh, near Moon Boy for the seven. Appreciate it, man. All right, so we stocks, man, had a really good day today. A lot of assets did well. Tech led the charge. Where we can look at PayPal, that uh, talking about, right? They're they're like gonna be possibly coming out with like a brokerage sector or like you know part of their business where you can trade like Robinhood or any other brokerage account. So that's a big deal. Probably that and just the collective macro is really good uh, for this one. But there's a gap fill up at uh, $300. You're probably going to fill that gap. And I'm thinking like eventually this will get up to the 1.618. I mean, the $362. All right, this is a uh, crab pattern, a bearish crab pattern that just hit the top. I mean, it's in the middle of the same wave still. C to D is a very large wave and has swing highs, swing lows. In between it is okay so this is eventually where you think you'd be headed okay sweet oh three point six four percent again top gainer on s p apple hit all-time highs today that's beautiful right look how the look at these two fake breakouts but then you know you just made higher lows in the previous lows you really broke out you finally today officially hit the one two seven two fib extension from the previous high to low there it is wow and you're just hanging out at it. I mean, you could catch a reaction here, but if it was not, if it was just going to continue to fly, your next target's 156.92, 144, and then eventually the 1.618 happens to be $162. We could say 161.18. Yo, Mitch, how are you? Thank you. It's a little wet. Here. It's a little windy what out here. What do you think about anti harmonic patterns and neo harmonics? I see Auntie Gartley, Navarro on the four hours ETH. I don't think anything about anti harmonic patterns in neo harmonics. What are you talking about? I don't. What do you think about it? I don't know, dude. So, uh, cool stuff on Apple and then Tesla. Man, Tesla, that you can't be really that surprised about it. Yep. Highest candle close since April 26th. Today, looks like uh, class accumulation is, I mean, really, if you think, if you talk about like confirmation lines, you like technically broke out today on Tesla. You broke out and you confirmed the potential uh, three rising valleys, right? You're confirming a breakout today, barely. I mean, it's 
technical, and it happened. So great stuff. I mean, t upside 884, all-time highs pretty much on this pattern. If you look at it from the low to the confirmation line, that would take you to right there, 884, all-time highs. That's it. So that's won't be long on this waiting for that area it takes a profit. So as at any time I breathe or move, Bitcoin just keeps making its lowest level of this four hour candle. Just a huge bearish engulfing candle being painted hour 17 minutes till the daily close in that confirmation. So okay, Tesla, lot upside. Great day, confirmed breakout. Could you, like, look, dude, hidden bullish divergence on the four hour, and then at the same time, on another time scale that's far more significant, you were also showing hidden bullish divergence, right? You were, it was implying that a continuation was gonna happen and it's beginning. And you broke a, a high from March 10th, which I think was kind of the breakout point, so. Uh, people are going to argue and say 782 would be it. All right, well, it's, it's at least we're going to run up to 782 to test it. But I think it's kind of like a big complex wave, right? X, A, B, C, then D. And D is up here, like deep retraces in the mid 800s. Okay. Beautiful, man. This is, this is technical analysis. This is why you watch. This is why you invest yourself so you can identify these structures and it's not just the structures it's the combination of the variables right and it's not just that it's like look at the tuner moving average how it held it as support multiple times really really good stuff on this okay what there are dude why is i can't so the problem is the audio is so effed up now like i can't even hear it i can't hear anything but I don't know, man. Okay, so. Wow. What a. So what I'm also doing is switching between my hard drives. So like when you switch between your hard drives, sometimes things just randomly change. It's really weird. And um, like webcams, microphones, multiple stream decks that you have to switch because they have like internal memory in them. This is the spaceship green screen. Stream Deck, and then that's the other the other one I have. So, wow, dude. Wow, YFII. -I. Hey, at least that's going places, chat. <sighs> Highest, multi-month highs, chat. Highest level, I'm sorry. Highest levels you've seen. Going on a month now. We have a major breakout occurring as I'm speaking to you on YFII. Holy, this thing's up 20%. Right, man. Just remember, if you look left, I, was, I had lunch today with my buddy. I'm going to the Bama Miami no, game with today. I told him about this one. Straight up, Can straight down, straight up, me? straight down. Could be straight up again. Could lift? Yeah, but we're staring at this one because this is a trade setup. This is what dreams were made of. This was a textbook bull pull bull flag combination, and on the bull flag, it back tested the old. Wyckoff accumulation range as support and now it's going to the only place that makes any sense that it would go to using traditional technical analysis where we look left guess what smart money looks left too and they use major discernible swing highs and lows to uh, strategize where to take profit where to enter where to exit where to set up shorts where you know buy puts right buy calls right that's what inflection points are anyway beautiful i'm just gonna add another alert of it just keeps going man right here but dang thank you for that and then you have another asset out there called ftm that went berserk today it's up 42.59 percent beautiful man all right we'll come back to this one you had your chance you really did have a golden opportunity here on YFII, and you know it if you watch this stream or if you're a part of this community, you know it.
FTM, what did it do? It went up and it hit its February highs. It was the previous one time all time highs and it's pulled back. It's, this happens, right? S coin whack-a-mole. But this one did look good in the past, right? I mean, if you're a patron, when, you know, if you pay attention to the streaming or the scanning sessions, right? You know, in charts only, you'll see when I do them. This one like re-brought it up today. Yeah, the uh, term I used for FTM on the date of I looked at a lot of charts that day. The date of, I think, uh, June 13th. The word was snack. Uh, FTM to US dollar, another potential snack. No idea why the chart won't load. Really weird. Ah, okay, yeah. FTM, man. It, you just this one really wasn't that good. I mean, in the end, now I, I looked back at the chart. It looked like a garley or something, and it failed and went to like a 113% 110 retrace in the middle of nowhere. It wasn't really good on the reversal, but it did back test a level of support resistance as support right August 9th. So I mean, it, that's what a lot of coins did before they marked up to their next levels. But a lot of them at the next levels, right, haven't been even able to break them. But FTM was able to break it and run to the next level. And then it pulled back, made a higher low, four hour hidden bullish divergence, and then broke to the upside again. Just, it's like every day there's another one. There's like a different one every day, right? Here's DOT that's, and talk about what FTM just did. DOT's on the cusp of doing the same thing, right? Once it breaks 2750, it hasn't yet. It's still below the 200 day moving average as well. And it's not going to be able to do it probably with Bitcoin's price action like this. But if it ever does break $27.50, $40 really, really fast. We're talking like from the breakout, the upside potential on this still 45% upside. So you, you want to be paying attention to this one. If it breaks, it could be you know, like YFI high, like straight up to the next level. All right, so dot up 3.77%. Not, we can't say that about many, we can't say that about many coins today that are down. Hold on, we got a big band of wind coming in. Ugh. Just kidding. What the? Man, if I had more time, like this is so on the fly, chat. Y'all have no idea. I was late. I was like 15 minutes late because I was working on the spaceship stream, which I I think uh, the battle station could be fully operational by tomorrow. Yep, could be. But dude, it, that's like crap load of work too, man. Okay, so uh, KSM's up today. This was one we brought up yesterday. Man, you do not want to forget about this. Anytime this asset holds 281S support successfully, it goes up in value minimum 90%. It did it three different times this year alone. So if this holds, the outcome could be very similar. It's not gonna, it doesn't have to be like perfect or even as good, but think about it, it just performs half as well, right? 50% of that. I mean, you think it would go to 484 if it breaks 345. That's all it's ever done. So minimum 73% upside from the back test of that 281 level. Really, really spectacular things can happen here. So just pay attention. Don't say that you had no idea about it. You're blindsided by KSM going nuts or something. So, uh, okay, KSM, NMR, looks really close to a breakout. Really, look, chat, look back from uh, November of last year, 
you're right there, man. You break that level, straight up 5383. Already done it once, right? 5383 is real. It's like a, a wick high from August last year. It's like a little zone here, you know, the August 29th candle high close in the daily. Uh, look, a wick high from February 13th. Look at this, a swing low. The B point of a huge harmonic from April 25th. Look, candle high close multiple times in May, right here late late May, and then the little scan wick. I mean, that's where you're headed if you break 45.46. So, again, like, these altcoins you think they're going to do, like, remember Tezos? Remember Tezos when it, like, did this? It literally did this. Like, all these coins are, are able to do that. They can do that. It could happen. But whenever Bitcoin really wants to reverse, they ran out of time. Bitcoin will beckon all of these to the downside if it reverses, and they won't be able to do what Tezos did. So, but, I mean, they're just, the stage is set in this crypto market. Still, momentum is still really good for altcoins. API error on crypto tips. That's not good, man. Sorry to hear that. Another one that you have to pay attention to. I mean, you don't have to take a trade on all these, right? But it really would make sense to, take, to be paying attention because I'm, this is why you're here, right? So keep on Binance. Look at this. You can clearly see what's happened. You know, not too much data, right? But. Um, not too much data, but with the data we do have, it makes clear sense what's going on. You broke out of a little range, back-tested the range as support, and the only thing left to do is to show that sign of strength markup. I mean, that's it. Of course, if Bitcoin dumps, look, it's beginning, it's trying to, it's down almost $1,200 today. And if it really wants to make that little Gartley we talked about and go test that 200 moving average like 45k and this is not gonna happen it can't happen everything's just gonna get killed with a macro so but I mean for now this is the stuff that this is what assets look like before they have major rallies that's what it looks like so okay any requests why would we Oh, lift, okay. Okay. Oh god, yeah, that's just another thing, man. Just not yeah, half the chat box, man, I know. Now. Just give me a sec. It's because of the way I had the Overlay yesterday. Get up. It's Ray Roker. What's up, fake fake Ross? Thanks, dude. Glad you appreciate it. Just uh Just trying to have a little fun, man, right? Just trying to do all I can to you know keep myself uh maybe leveled out a little bit. Been stressed lately. Okay, so what about lift? Uh, price contraction, you're breaking. It looks like you're breaking down, man. You break this, you know, $46. Oh boy, I would so easy to, you know, see what's going on here. Kind of reminds me of Bitcoin, except this is a B point. It's a bat. So if you break that, you could very well be seeing on lift 2681. I would be waiting for that. I wouldn't want to touch this asset until then. Because, you know, breaking this support right here. From May of 2019, if that doesn't hold, I think you're going down to 37.38 to test the next level, October 2019. But who cares there? I mean, there's gap fills down here. I mean, hitting 886, you'd fill multiple gaps, and then there'd be a harmonic. But dude, it's like it's like the fact that you made a 50% retrace on B, you made a lower high on C, and you're about to breach B. Those are those are levels where hey man, good probability of seeing deep retraces that happens that's scott carney's research okay b-a-m-n fan action magnet moves and what then you also have some context from history what's up conrad dude 
conceded. Whoa. We got the the hurricane man. Alright, so I don't like lift here if you want to be long. Okay, that's it. Unfortunately. Thanks for the contribution. I think that was it. I think it's like, ooh. Sweet. Oh, now we have A U N N. Gold. Try to rally today. But why? Hmm. Dang, man, it was real close. Well, actually, the two lows there. Whoa, wasn't it? Definitely some sort of real inflection point right there. It caught some bits, caught a reaction off of that level. But clearly not, like, down, you know, at the lowest points. So, yeah, I think if you hold that, I mean, it could be really good. Let's see... Yeah, I mean, holding this level could be a decent amount of upside. For sure. Could be a decent amount of upside, but, uh, I mean, there was definitely some divergence in the end. Yeah, of course. I don't, I don't know, dude. Oh, my God, man. So, yeah, man, there, there's not really that much of an edge here. And, I mean, you can try to take a shot there. Why don't you wait for a double bottom or something? Oh, at hey, Mitch, always learning from you. Stay true to you. Can you give your read on Stella XLM? Cheers. Yeah, Bitcoin dumps. It's screwed. There, there you go, dude. But, yeah, I'll look at it. Yeah, this is definitely a level. Look, I mean, what happened back when it was created in 2013? It had a really nice rally up to 117. And then it sold off and got near that same level, right? 2014, it ran straight back up again and then straight down. And then when you fell, fell below, when you rallied back above it, you ran pretty high up there. You got all the way up to 115 again. We're selling off again. So it could, it could do the same thing, man. Could have a, a nice rally here. But it's it's like you don't have a confirmation. You don't have the double bottom. It's the weekly. It could be waiting a while. I think there are better assets to trade than this one. But uh, you're onto something. It's up 11% today, though. So it's like, why you know why are you requesting it today? Why didn't you request it uh, when it wasn't up 11% but was at the same inflection point, right? So yeah, cool. Hmm. Oh, it looks like pull back could be coming, man. Yeah, so I mean like you yeah, got that harmonic nice reaction off of it. Uh it looks all, a lot of assets look like they were trying to double out uh, double bottom. Like they were attempting to anyway, and that's it so far. That's like all you've done is make another lower high. Hmm. Maybe it's just turning into descending triangle behavior. All right. Now you got a very clear supply line. And you've got yourself, you, really, you could go here, but it, would, it doesn't make sense there. That's the beginning right here. So that's clearly way more distribution than accumulation based on the steepness of the supply line versus the steepness of the demand line right so more distribution going on for now price can traction for sure so it's a medical triangle it doesn't look like that great so I mean if you break this right here you know that's a B point like that could be a bad action magnet move too you could be headed down to lower prices but if you stay above this level and you bounce and Bitcoin doesn't dump and hit session or close to session lows like it is right now, I mean, then it could really have another run, attempt a major rally. But that's not happening with the way Bitcoin's acting right now. So, okay, which again, it's just continuing to dump, 
bearish and golden candle will be confirmed in less than an hour now, 58 minutes. Get it, local on the eights. Oh, local on the eights, everybody. We got we got a lot of uh, wind. We got a lot of rain. We got a lot of flooding. Over a million people without power down in New Orleans. They said it could, uh, for some people, it could be weeks before they get power back. It's crazy, man. So serious thoughts and prayers. Like, no joking, for real. It's, uh, it's a really crappy situation. And uh, I know a lot of them have been through it before. And they will be going through many more in the future. It's, that's that is what happens down in New Orleans. Because I mean, it's just the way nature is, and where they are geographically, and you know, Gulf of Mexico, warmest te temperatures in the Atlantic Basin. So that is, you know, temperature, water temperatures, like what fuels uh, hurricanes, strength, and that's it. Really did accelerate before it hit landfall. It was the fifth strongest hurricane to make landfall in u.s history it was stronger than katrina and at one point the national weather service registered 172 mile an hour wind gusts crazy dude like an insane storm and now it just got up here it's literally raining and windy and stuff here starting just got here like the outer part Let's look at Colorado Trader things, dude. I don't, I don't know, man. Dude, you don't want to break the B point. You break uh, 32 cents, you probably got a journey downwards. Very real possibility. So just hang on to your hats with Bitcoin. I, I mean, the whole stream, dude. Like, since I went live, this thing has been dumping and not giving up, not letting up. OGN looks uh, incredible. It's up 17% today and had a major breakout. This is what we're talking about. This is like really strong. I mean, look at the low, the higher low, and the rally, and you're above 115 now. And your target's 137 from here. Really strong wave structure. Bueller. So, I mean, here's the thing though. This one was identified back in June. It didn't do anything for like a month. Didn't fall below any critical levels that were important or anything, right? It, it held, it was just sideways and eventually it took off. It happens sometimes and down at these levels, the profit taking levels are the top of the harmonics, A and C, and you hit C uh, several times, but now you're breaking C and you're probably gonna run to A, you know, the top. 137, I would say 137 just because that high right here from March 14th. And it's pretty much a low from April 23rd. That's the point of inflection. So you ever break that, that's when you're going to 195, probably really fast. Okay, so it's going really well right now on this one. It was, oh God, there was some class C hidden bullish divergence there too. Beautiful. Now OGN bucking the macro today. All right, man. That was all the requests. Facebook all the time, highs today. Exceeding the 1618 like it was a joke. Wow, oh, man. Headed towards $400. That's the target. Yep, $400. And it's the reason why the 2.618 Fib extension from the high to low of that descending triangle. Why not, man? Money printer go burr. No one cares. Right? Hidden bullish divergence. The four hours beautiful here on Facebook. Dang. And you probably got confluence. 2618, the major one, is confluent with this smaller harmonic here, which is the deep crap, or just the standard crap. 16, uh, 1618, I mean, even locally, your target's 397. That's it. 397 to $400 for Facebook is probably where it's headed to, man. That's, that's exceptional. Look how the gap filled. 
before it began to rally again. How beautiful is that? Gap fills act as support 22% of the time. Look at that, where I plot where the gap was, you double bottom data. Like you, you literally sprung and back tested the spring of the gap fill support. Dang, man, that's pretty legendary. Wow. Here goes Bitcoin chat. Let's go back to it. It's a dump stream. Yay. So much fun. So much fun, dude. Chat, breaking news. We're at the lowest price we've seen in three days. Just getting word from my producer now. It's uh, devastating news. But yeah, I mean, not real much support resistance of these levels from history. And you just broke a local one. So, you know, that's it. Okay, this bearish and golden candle looks like probably going to be confirmed. But we have plenty of time left. So been live, uh, getting close to an hour. So if you're enjoying the live stream, you'll like button the bell. So thanks for being here on this, uh, I don't know, mixed bag day. It's not really even mixed. It's more like, yeah, mostly everything's down. Mostly, I mean, like, this didn't start happening until like an hour ago, man. Everything was pretty, holding up pretty well, starting to do good things. And then it's just, this, this happens everything reacts except a couple right except you know yfi even though it, it you know, ran up it's pulled back a little bit excuse me so five thousand dollars and then ftm was up even more right it was up more maybe a little tweezer top action might be a short term top i mean could you be surprised anybody if this asset reacted and had a either a major or minor retrace here you can't be surprised on ftm phantom okay you can't be goodness Back in off season, man. This off season. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this one. God, dude, look at my other watch list. Un unreal, dude. CGLD was up like I think a hundred percent. It hit eleven dollars today. Eleven dollars before pulling back. Still up fifty-five percent. Where is it pulled back to? Back below those old all-time highs from April 20th and May 18th. You're back below it now, so could you be surprised if a reversal happened to these levels? Pullback happened. I mean, this thing can go down to 525 again. But and this was the... We, we brought this up yesterday. This whole bullish Gartley was beautiful, but it was... The only way you had success in this markup was... Uh, holding and being patient while you watched a lot of other assets outperform it for a while which is what the composite man wants sometimes he wants you to go to greener pastures pretty green back here man and there's gotta be a way like um i need to get like a fan or something you know I have a fan over there and it's like blowing the same way as these palm trees back here don't think i could make uh Oh, oh man, what am I thinking here? I mean, of course I could just do this, right? Uh, I mean, it's still not gonna look as real, hold on. And would it do it? I mean, that kinda looks okay, it's not really that great. It's, I don't know. So anyway, dude, uh, you had that one, you had SOL up today. Continuing, this one's a monster, man. Hey, it almost hit the 2618, didn't it? Went up to $117. 
in you know 261 it was 121 so this thing you know broke a hundred dollars it was not above a hundred dollars yesterday we thought it was going to test it it tested it and broke it so how much you can say besides next fib nodes sol beautiful luna's up man luna's really really strong that's like a oh a higher high on b crazy man yeah this is not like dude no. how could you touch this right now man i mean i get it it's killing it but dude from its major high to low it's hit that golden mean ratio three times this is exactly where a reversal could have happened i mean it could happen man right crazier so fun to watch but dang man no value here you had you had the chance i mean you go back to the late july streams and you look for a luna analysis this is what we're identifying on this and maker and others for making those higher lows than bitcoins low okay and the and really the back test down here in june and the spring back test june a little later in june so this one's beautiful down here and it's up from the bottom just to now 658 percent in 68 days gorgeous adam's up today four percent i guess it's reversing at that one high from march 18th Fibs that way. Oh, hold on. This is another like major wave structure. It's like kind of double topping at a 61% retrace. Yeah, you think this would go up at one or two more fib nodes, 27 or 2950. Alright, to test like the old highs. But that hasn't happened yet. And it's not gonna if Bitcoin wants to dump bad, but if Bitcoin just holds on. It'll continue its ascent, most likely. Yep. Dude, this thing, screen screen, is so stupid. Like, it's already broken. Literally broken. Like, I have it up. It looks great now, but dude, behind it, it's, it's busted. And the only way to make it go up to the height I needed it was by breaking it accidentally. So amazing, dude. Hold on a sec. I think I know why the crypto tips aren't working. Because if you don't know, Coinbase had a major problem uh, this weekend. And it sent out the this alert saying that your two-factor authentication was changed. And it freaked me the, out bad. I went in and changed my two-factor, changed the password, everything, right? And um, they announced it was their problem. They, they screwed up. Anyone else get that? 125,000 people were affected. One sec. That was the problem, dude. It logged me out, obviously, when I did all that. One sec. You're not missing much, man. It's all good. So just deep breaths. Okay, awesome. So it should, I'm going to disconnect this one too and then reconnect it. All right, for anyone that was trying to tip in crypto, it should be good now. There should be no problems. So anyway. Oh, thanks for the 900 people here, or around there, that, that many. 
I think the music, yeah, this is because when I try to do stuff, it's too loud. Thoughts or too on quiet, Asha, please. Or Trying else. not to FOMO, but it only goes up. Even weekly, about to go positive. Okay, LeBomba Man, thanks for 20. Uh, take a look, I'll try to anyway. The internet's kind of choppy out here, man. It's kind of scary. Coin. No, it's not nice coin. Academy Sports. I'm trying to thumb up, man. You're talking about momentum shifting structure here. Right? Academy. Hit all time highs today. Highest levels ever. Reached the level that was the highest June 25th today. And uh, yeah, I mean, there was kind of inverse head and shoulder stuff. It was kind of perfect. Mm, I mean, it just didn't. Don't have literally every ticker on my watch list. Probably should, right? I mean, just leave it to the imagination here so you can kind of identify it. Like we've identified many that have succeeded in the past and have failed in the past because they're gonna fail inevitably at some point. I mean, they're inevitably gonna succeed at some point, but that was there. It's a little off, a little weird, but it was, it was also very, very good. So, I mean, you can measure the move here, but just think about Fibonacci too. High to low, you could understand the 1272, 4526 would be the target. You also, I mean, there's a gap down here too, where like you could always fill the gap at 3959, but if it sustains prices above 4278, that's where it's probably headed. Like they always are. Like, remember when Apple did it? Remember when Facebook did it? Remember when they all, Amazon did it too? I mean, if they go up test these levels, they could come into back test the level as support. Okay. There you have it. Beautiful. But it's all hindsight. I mean, okay, great. Hindsight because I didn't scan it often. So I, w I really wish, you know, the best contribution you could have ever done, La Bamba, would have been to requ request this asset around the 19th or 20th. So then we could have been like, dang, man. It's above the 200 moving average. It's making a higher low. It looks like a potential inverse head and shoulders. If it breaks this neckline, it could, it could run, man. It could do things. And now you're requesting it today. And it's like, what the heck, man? What the heck? You know how to identify these structures. Those are the best requests because everyone can benefit from it in the stream watching. Yes, fancy lamps are here. They're lighting this room right now. Just kidding, because this is the sun, the sunlight's, I'm outside right now, in the weather. Why are y'all talking about Brittany? Is she like singing right now? It's not, oh my god dude, I gotta get off this, this I don't know, this guy, whoever this is. I gotta get back to gentlemen. Th these songs are terrible, dude. Good lord. Imagine putting, imagine being a DJ and having that in your set list, dude. No idea if it's too loud, it's too quiet. Everything's gaslighting me now, my decibel levels. So, uh, okay, yeah, there was your ASO, man. Congrats on the palm. So, we gotta look at another one, though, that won't matter. It won't matter. If oh, we do. We, what the heck? We already looked at it. Oh, never mind. Forgot we looked at it. Oops. That's it, man. Dang. Some of these are so interesting. Hi, you all. Please look at him in the end. Got 
I mean, well, I mean, it, it, it's reacted here. It's rallied. You know, it was maybe diverging. It did hit oversold one more time and it's bounced. So uh, that's awesome. You know, it's a, definitely some sort of shark. It, it could rally and it's like filling a gap, you know, from uh, August 12th. Could make a lower high and then sell off again. It's just, you know, you, look, you had sell off and then rallies and there's scrub rallies, double tall, you dump again. It could be the same thing going on. So, I mean, you could wait when it would make way more sense, right? Think about how much sense it would make at 474 to five dollars god that's such a nice inflection point so much going on at that that level and it lines up literally with 113 percent retrace the actual pattern completion zone of the shark but you know it's it rallied just a little bit off of that and so it still eventually might make its way down there and so i don't know if it's actionable right now i think it still might be prudent to wait if you want like the best area take a shot and then even at that area it's gonna probably just react there and you don't know if it's gonna be confirmed as a bottom like you probably want to double bottom at this level because it gets rally and then it, once it, if it breaks that man whoo you know 280 it was a crap load of its value so that's where I am it's nothing's really changed besides it reacted with the macro which is doing really well right okay so Cool and all, even if it this was the 113 percent where it, re, it reacted, you don't have confirmation, so you don't even know if the bottom's in yet. So it's maybe it's still not actionable. You're going to be disciplined. Uh, I don't know if that was like justified, right? Uh, what? I thought hurricane season was over. Can you look at the stone? Hey, Pierre, you just got banned. Looks so, when looking when good job, dude. Banned. Can you? Thanks. Like, what are you doing? Like, why even say that? Like, can you, there are so many ways to describe things. And look, guess what? The music uh, is what caused you to say those things to get banned. So, wow, why even play music anymore? It's getting getting people to get banned. Awesome. Oh, man. What's up, JS, dude? I see PT. Oh, God, man. Why would you ever touch this crap? I mean, looks interesting if you look way left, not to me. I mean, it's at all time lows. Nothing interesting about an asset that made, just made all time lows like yesterday and the money printer's going burr harder than it's ever gone probably in history of the human, human race, okay? Money printer go burr like that, and you're at all-time lows, like literally today, yesterday, whatever. That is so bad. There's nothing interesting about this. Screw this asset. But if we want to talk about, like, identifying harmonics for fun, why not? We could, and there is one. There's a nice one. It's a, it's a deep crap, but uh, you got to go lower. It's the deep crab. Pattern completion zone, 72 cents. What? It's eighteen. It's fourteen forty nine right now, in the pattern completion zone of this bullish deep crab is seventy two cents to ninety three cents. It gets weird down there. So pretty much, uh, that's no thanks. I mean, maybe it never happens. You know, that's unreal. That's like no thanks, dude. I want nothing to do with it, man. No, thank you. Nothing interesting about this. It's interesting that no one wants it, that there's no demand for this trash in these market conditions. The most like it's insanely China bullish, me, China. crazy China. markets right now. Could you take a look at my Amazon butt tracks? Might be a bullish boot hockey pattern. 0 0.029000000 LTC. Cool story, bro.
So, yeah, man, this is a um, nice pattern right here, but could be, could have been bankrupt by the time it gets there. So, I don't know, dude. Uh, Rose is up 20% today. D see, this is what, look at this. It's like pumping right now. It's at its session highs. It's at multi-month highs. Rose at its highest level since May 16th. Huh, hmm, Rose, chat, Rose. It looked like GRT. It looked like Tezos. It looked like a bunch of other coins. It's just whack-a-mole. This is just the one that's catching bids. You can't, like, Bitcoin's at its lowest point. It's dumping right now, you know. It's been dumping the entire stream. I'm so surprised. All right, this one's pumping at its highest levels. That's a really nice chart, though. Really nice. Everything makes sense here, doesn't it? It's like, dang, man, the other assets just aren't going to perform like this one, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. It's Rose. John, do you understand, like... I, we're staring at like almost the ex exact same picture as GRT, man. Sometimes they pl play out like crazy, sometimes they don't, and sometimes it has yet to happen. So, you know, I was also bullish on, bullish on YFII. What are your it's playing out. Bullish on Tezos. Bullish on the ones that have played out because we identified the like same harmonics that we did on GRT. So, what's your point? Yeah, what about Hex, man? What about that one? You know, like, nah, dude. Forget that. Forget that. We gotta be negative. We gotta, remember, we gotta try to make me feel bad. Right? And, okay. Cool, dude. on our rocket mortgage. So dude, thanks man. It's just sitting there, it's not really doing much. I mean it's right in you know, rockets like right at the the abyss. 1749 right there. I mean it's trying to hold on but doesn't look like it's gonna does it by the looks of, I mean at that. It's just, where, where's the demand? Where are the bids? You know, where another asset would do the same thing and it would run up to 24 bucks. This one hasn't yet and may never, it may fail and dump. But what about all the other ones that in history did hold and regard those old ice lines as support and then rallied ridiculously? Those don't get talked about. Only the ones that fail, right? Uh, I don't know, because it's like, we have like, what, the rules and the guidelines? There's so many ways to joke, right, as an adult. So many ways to, to joke. But yeah, again, I don't, I don't know, man. Just, um, you could apologize and say, I'm sorry, I, I yep, whoops, I, I won't do it again, and then you're back. I mean, or you talk to the mods. And let them know, right, that you, you're not going to do it again, everything's good, and then we move on, water under the bridge. So, God, this is just, like, stupid stuff that I even have to talk about on stream. Like, that I'm probably just never going to talk about again. Because it's just like, why am I talking about some guy getting banned in chat for saying something really inappropriate? Something inappropriate is a joke. So, I don't know, 1750, you're probably good, you know, and... And if it breaks it, I could come down to. I would think you're going down to 1640 if you break 1749. That's it. We babysitters club, baby.
It's China to me, China. China. In business, sometimes shit happens. The playing field changes, whatever. And you gotta do whatever you gotta do to keep your dick up. Don't stress the slow days. 0.018792000 LTC. Thanks, Tony, man. Appreciate it. There goes Bitcoin, dude. All right, let's go back to it and check it out. Dang, man. It's like, <laughs> wait till my stream starts to dump the whole time. So, if we're looking at some sort of M shape formation, 45,300 and change, maybe. Uh, if not, if it busts, you can imagine it becomes what? It becomes a crab pattern, which would take you to like 40,000 or lower. So, one or the other, man. Probably your first target here, if this sustains, this continues, you're at yeah, 45,000 and change. Context isn't even really good. You know how we like the context, the harmonics. This is not the greatest context here. So, wouldn't be surprised if it like went from a failed Gartley into a crap. And a teaser wild man really, really shows like the perception of psychology and the human mind and what the value is perceived in this day and age where the US dollar is so trash. They're printing so much of it so people are buying JPEGs because they think the JPEGs that are created out of thin air and they're really crude, they're not even that great, they're like whatever, right? They're being bought for a hundred thousand, hundred million dollars, right? Whatever, all kinds of them. Different price tags on all of them, everywhere. It's like you now have a virtual watch, pretty much. A virtual Rolex. Market participants in that market are saying that by literally dictating it with their, their wallets, right? Buying it at those prices. So whatever. People put you know value in a lot of things, and they're continuing to do that, right? Cheapest one for sale is $300,000 or something, yep course Dang man, we look at this depressing Bitcoin. You guys get a Wi-Fi eye or something. But aren't the, the fees are like insane again? Aren't they? I mean, they're like really, really getting bad again. All right, let me just, we'll just sit here and have a Bitcoin dump stream and just stare at it. Because every every second it just keeps making lower lows, low, lower prices. For the past hour, 14 minutes of BBN Live, the dump started. So, cool. Stay around until it finishes dumping and actually wicks up. Back test to 47k. And there's not really a 47k. It's like 46a. I mean, there's there's a lot of chop I and mean, a lot of on the four hour. A lot of things that could be perceived as a swing higher, swing low. Yeah. 3.6. Not great or terrible. Bitcoinly, I see to be in full Thanks, dude. Mega bearish and golden candle, and a confirmed lower high on the four hour for sure. That's that 
high we saw this week, couple highs we saw this weekend confirming the lower high here. So yeah, I do think you probably got this wave structure going on, man. Volume increasing quickly on CGLD again. Oh, is it pumping, man? Is it pumping? Good God, it's up 77% right now. So absurd, man. It's back above its previous all-time high from April 20th. Wow, and it all started with a textbook legendary Gartley, man. It was there. It was just slow going, and then it wasn't. Then it was fast going. Outperforming, like, everything. Suddenly. A few days. So, yep, yeah, I mean, with Bitcoin dumping, like, not doing well at all, there are some that are, like, flourishing right now. No, no. Let's sweat out there, man. Frothy market conditions, too. Maybe Not this will really brighten your crypto, day. But yeah, FSLI stocks. weekly Getting guard the PRZ plus divergence maturity. What's up, Kevin, man? Things are 20, dude. Uh, sure, we can look at that. Whatever. Gentlemen, in the mix. Ah, man, it's like, well, it's, man, it's hitting all-time highs, like, every day, and this one's trash. I mean... So bad. All right, it's like it's te it tested that that high from September 2019. It reacted, but that do just because you react doesn't mean it's it's done. And uh, let's just mess with it. Be, it seems like that's a 50 percent, so there could be a lower to go. I mean, unless you're talking either way, it's like a bat or sharp, right? God, freaking computers like lagging. No, this is like a 786. Wow. Oh my God. Whoa, dude. That's pretty spectacular, actually. That's a real Gartley there. I mean, that's 618. That's a, that's, that would be a Gartley. And you are at the pattern completion zone, and you, that could be a reaction low, reversal low here. I mean, it makes sense, kind of, doesn't it? And you do have some really nice divergence in the four hour. Maybe on a type two. Oh my God! You have a uh, what Scott Carney would call the bad action magnet move confirmation on the RSI. Dude, triple bullish divergence. You, this is a great request, man. This is extremely good request here. I mean, everything that you can ask for, right? It's like. Question is, would this be considered a reaction low? Because it didn't quite make the PCZ. It was so close, though, man. Do you have this going on at an inflection point where if you don't hold $35, $34.84, you're going down to $25.62. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's the only price action. So it either holds here or it loses substantial value. How does it not hold here with sellers implying so hard that they are exhausted on a significant time scale? Dang, man, this is really good. This is a, it's like, and it may fail, right? But it is a good argument, at least. Now, let's say, like, let's just mess around and talk about the other thought here, which would be the initial touches. So this would be shark, and you're not at the PCZ. Say uh, Fastly can't hold this $35 area. What do we talk about where it was going if it couldn't hold $35? The 886, which is, I mean, that's 2325, which is right around where the next support is. So, yep, look, I mean, the high initially from May 2019, look, July 2019, October 2019, November 2019, oh my God, January 2020, February 2020. You see how many times it was tested? And that is literally the 886. So, worst case scenario, it could run down to the, that level. Twenty-three to twenty-five dollars would be the next level of support. That's it. So, really, you know, it's like which anchor points are you using? It could be a Garley, 
but if you're being really conservative, it'd be a shark. And it's not in the pattern completion zone. But dang, man, I just don't know how $35 doesn't hold with, with so much bullish divergence. This was like kind of implying reversal here. And if it was to reverse, I think the target easy, your first target easily would be 62.73. That would be it. That's where it would be headed if it was going to reverse here. So it's a great, um, great asset to look at. Tough to say on which one it is, the shark or a garlic. If you're more conservative and prudent, you say shark, and you would want to wait for 35 to not hold. And if you are wanting to be aggressive, then you'd be saying Gartley and then double bottoming with the divergence you plan all that. The coins don't it just it won't stop dumping. I just need to stop streaming, I guess, right? And then it'll stop. But like it's like dude, it's so weird. It didn't dump all day and then I like I was even late and being late it didn't dump until I hit the live button. It's crazy. Yep, session lows, obviously, and um yeah, on the daily, man. There's like no swing low until 45,185 here. Talk about right here, this level. It's low from February 28th, swing low, right? It pivoted and rallied there. I mean, you look left, that's it. Kind of. I, I guess you're sitting right at this wick low from... April 25th, but you've certainly not been able to break the candle low close, so. But in the end, if you look at the daily, sure, it maybe looks kind of like it's stalling for sure. Negative momentum's building. You're diverging some. Everything's still okay until it falls below 40K, man. I mean, really, in actuality, technically you're fine until it happens. Okay, I've been live an hour and 23 minutes. Noise, noise. How about KS and KuCoin daily bullish and golfing? So, man, oh, look. Noise. Yep. You heard it here first. When it comes out, zero, zero. That's right, dude. Pretty much. Pretty, pretty much, right? When it comes out, Zero. And then, just like that, Bitcoin going to zero. So everyone's calling for zero, chat. It's over. Keep dumping Bitcoin till zero. Yeah, man. Kai, Cardia Chain. Man, we were some amazing stuff back here. I remember Kai. Yeah, dude. It was beautiful. And now it still looks pretty beautiful. It's like everything else. It's like everything else, man. It created an M shape, it made deep retraces, and it reversed, it held inflection points. Not really taking off too much. I think there's a lot more upside on this asset above five cents. I think this could go to 8.2 cents eventually. Really strong looking stuff here. I mean, you got some daily hidden bullish divergence on both oscillators, undeniable. It's just like how do you how do you think it how can it happen like with Bitcoin doing this? There's just how how does it this these bullish variables play out on this asset? I don't know. Alright. The the low, the higher low on price. Looks I mean even the MACD. Like a low the higher low above an inflection point. Yeah, you hold this long enough, you could see I would think you would want to target for eight cents. Eight cents. All right. Almost looks like. Hey, is that an inverse and shoulders kind of? Not really. No, but it looks. I could understand that there's like momentum is shifting now. You were making lows, low slow. Now you're making higher lows. Okay, sweet dude. Bitcoin is continuing to dump. Yeah, let's go, dude. So much for a tweezer bottom engulfing candle. Cool, dude. I guess it, in looking back, it probably wasn't the best context for that to be developing because it's not like a true bottom. Like it's not, and we want to be seeing a tweezer bottom and golfing candle at bottoms, you know. 
at inflection points, not really doing that at all. So, okay. Why would you say that? Why would storage fa fail? Huh? Why would anyone say that this has failed? Storage has failed, chat. It's over. No. It's just reversing because Bitcoin's reversing, but it's above all inflection points. It doesn't fail pro pretty much until it falls below 124. Okay, but I, I think that'll probably happen if Bitcoin keeps this up. Just like a lot of alts. So cool. Yep, I mean what? You just it's like just weighs on like the macro just weighs on these coins. They they try. They they that's like man, it seemed like a lot of market participants perceived the structure and the value and how good it looked and then the macro shifts and you get days like this, like storage. Bearish hurricane. Oh my god, man. How about that? Remember that time Ethereum was up? Remember the time Ethereum did something? Remember the time Ethereum wasn't at the same price it was at August 10th? Because it is. Man, it was so promising, too. Like, Ethereum's still like completely fine with Bitcoin dumping. Like just not, it just isn't up today. So imagine what happens if Bitcoin isn't dumping now. The daily on Ethereum is just like up sloping consolidation above major inflection points with no resistance looking left. All you got is a 618 and you've been reacting there for pretty much three weeks now. Wow, Bulkowski says that's about the length of time of a bull flag of its development. So. Nothing has to cause the dump besides people selling. So I would go with that. That would be my answer. People sold and that caused the dump. Insane, dude. So I'm wiping this all the terrain off my face. Oh man, Ooh, it's chilly, man. It's cold, cold wind cutting through me. Who knows, man, if there will be a scam wick or not. But I mean, I just power two hours, dude. Power two hours, dumpage for two hours straight. Or oh, it's not even. It's like an hour and. 30 minutes that I've been live power dumpage for Bitcoin. Nine minutes till daily close. So I'm just here to run out the clock at this point, man. Yep. It's running out the clock. Lucy tip $25. That rain looks cold. Jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. Thanks, Blue Shoe, for the attempts. Thanks, man. It is cold. But, hey, you know, we're out here covering the storm for you. The bearish uh, hurricane going on on Bitcoin for today. Maybe the sun will be out tomorrow. 
but you know it's again the same price it was at three days ago <laughs> can you believe it it's down almost two thousand dollars today it was down two thousand dollars it was up two thousand dollars it did nothing for two days now it's down two thousand dollars wow Um, Hex is not pumping. That's fake news right now. Because it was up 7 plus percent earlier. It's only up 4% right now. It's not at 24 cents. It's at 23 cents. It's not pumping. Fake news. Stop being so obsessed and treating it like your religion, man. God. It's a freaking amazing chart. Uh, can someone, you know, go ahead and say, is Wi-Fi I trade setup dead, man? Is this one dead? Come on, man. Everyone see what uh, Elon just uh, tweeted? I, I wow, you just saw me in real time laugh. Um, I laughed out loud. I literally lol I guess I'll just show you. What am I doing? I have the means to do that. Okay, here you go, chat. This is what he did. He said, no worries. The situation is under control. Get it? Yeah, you can't fall in love with something. And even if you like the way a chart looks, you still have to practice proper position sizing because that one could always fail, but the other ones that you like could succeed. Okay, five minutes, man. Longest five minutes of my freaking life, man. stuff stocks pumping man and so I love oh Nvidia I didn't even bring it up Nvidia hit the uh, pattern completion zone look at this dude the situation's under control Nvidia hit it like it's literally textbook it's a deep crab a bearish deep crab at the 1618 you hit it today and you closed at it below it so let's see if it gets violated it would be hilarious I would laugh out loud if it got violated and continued to run, but this is exactly where an asset could react and stall out for a little bit, even if it's extremely bullish, and then go again and, and run even higher. And that's when the violation occurs, but uh, let's just see if we react here. Ooh, dividends tomorrow? Yep. Sweet. So it looks like we've got Bitcoin that's going to be closing at its lowest low of the day at the close. Man, we keep seeing that, don't we? Like Bitcoin will pump and it will pump into the close at its highest level of the day. And then another day it will dump and then close at its lowest point of the day. So it's like like on my streams, like, you know, because I'm streaming into the close. It's just like we're getting price action up and down. I really don't like the four hour anymore because it's like not oversold. It's below 40 on the RSI. Negative momentum's building again. It's kind of like, ugh. Because that's midnight universal time. 
UTC. So gross. Oh, we got two minutes, chat. Pretty much. So let's go ahead and knock it out. What's up, Navarius man? Yeah, it's been that's been happening. It's like it happens not all the time. Twenty four dollars and twenty four cents. Got to love where it's become China, Asia. Russia dump all night, US pump all day. Day. After day. After day. Five to six to eight hours of pump up. Then 15 minutes to two hours of dumping. New day. Just cannot stay away from that 200 DMA. Volatility. Something. It's been a long journey. Long oh, way up, man. 61% retrace. Hey Mitch, did you know, they, see dominance it's a real in the harmonic pattern? It's at 43.41. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it hit the PCZ, but we identified that already. And it's a long way off from that, dude. You get a long way before that happens. I mean, you could use that swing low, but man, I think it's like going from the bottom is the most prudent here. Because there's no doubt, there's no question. I missed out on like the reversal harmonic at 30k because I was using an anchor point like that when I should have been using, like I always do, the very bottom. So. That's what I'm sticking with. That's experience. It's like, wow, I want to keep it this way. Something like 40% or, you know, 40.72% market cap dominance on Bitcoin. You know, it broke the B point. Did it not? It did. It did that it broke that BAMM. High probability of the deep retraces now. It broke the 44% level. Not much of a support resistance, but it's there. And you think that, uh, yeah, lower prices or at least lower percentages on Bitcoin. And I could believe it with a, like Ethereum would be a big part of why this would dump a few more percentage points. Just a few more percentage points while Ethereum outperforms and maybe goes to much higher levels and gains really nice market cap on Bitcoin in the next, like, I don't know, a few weeks. If this is going to play out, you know, this is the way you look at it. There it is, chat. New day. A new day has been born. And it closed pretty much at session lows. Ethereum that was up 3% ended up closing with a major, major doji. Just an indecision candle. Cool story, bro. I thought you were breaking that heart line of the channel too. Nope never gonna do anything this will dump too if bitcoin wants to keep dumping so man it could all come all the way down to 3050 3060 if bitcoin wants to continue to dump you know what's gonna happen but if bitcoin just doesn't dump and goes sideways my god you saw what ethereum was able to do with bitcoin barely doing anything so I definitely give an F about things. I don't know what that means. I know it's okay to be happy, but it's like you can't make yourself be happy if you're not, right? I mean, so it's like, do you get me? I'm just gonna be how I feel. So we look at like engine coin remember it broke out yesterday it looked wonderful for upside but and it was going it was just like yeah the macro will do this the macro will make this fail there's no way this inflection point would hold if bitcoin dumped more i mean it would go test it and then bitcoin continue to dump and it would fall below it but it would still probably in the end end up even still but it would still probably make a higher load than the previous load in august 19th so 
Oh man, and this is really good still on engine. I mean, the upside potential is 268 to 280. So. And we're just like looking at stuff. All right, so you get it right. Just a, another whipsaw kind of day. You're up, right? Up $1,000, you're down $2,000, you're up $2,000, you do nothing a couple days, you're down $2,000. Right back in the same place you were, August 27th. Negative momentum's building. You are at 53 on the RSI, so you're neutral and there's downside. I mean, like, you, you could go to 41 and still be neutral on the RSI. Prices would be much lower if that happened. So you just had a really nice run. You're at a 618 and you haven't been able to break it yet. Not yet. And you did on the four hour pretty pretty much confirm a lower high. I mean, that's, that's what we're seeing, right? I mean, you made the highest high August 23rd. You sold off 61% of the previous low that's discernible in the four hour. You rallied, not once, but twice. You rallied twice and made a lower high. You confirmed the top right here, it seems, this weekend, and you've begun to dump, and you might run down to test 42235 That's it. So, yeah, I mean, where it looks right now, it definitely looks like there could be more downside. Okay, the lower highs have been confirmed on the four hour, and you've also confirmed a breakout, like a bearish breakout of the channel. You fell out, you rallied, and you fell back out again, but then you ran up to confirm, right? A spring back test, of, you know, it's like the inverse of the spring back test of the spring, right? The up thrust, the back test of the up thrust yesterday, and you've been following through now to the downside, getting for it, separating from this channel you've been in for a month. So that's it, man. You'll get it. All right, so appreciate everyone coming out. Is it DGB's going, man? We'll look at it. Noise, noise. What was that? Sorry, that was not, that was buggy. That was a buggy chime. Fake news, false beep. DGB's false beep report. News. Jeez, man, I'm talking about pumping, dude, crazy. Yep, look at that. Oh, hey, look, it looked, it was identical to GRT. It was identical to GRT, but it's been outperforming GRT. It happens, get over it. That's why it's like, you don't go all in on GRT. Whoever told you to go all in on GRT, told you that that was an asset that was showing the same type of structures as a lot of other ones, that could eventually do what maybe DGB is doing or many other coins, Tezos or Rose or Ocean or the others. It's just still behind, still lagging behind really bad. And then DGB, I mean, the target here, I think is 8.3 to 9 cents right back, back in February. And you're just going up to test the May and June levels again. And that says up 16 plus percent on the new date. Altcoins, man. Some are doing things, so pay attention to that. Bitcoin's not able to do much. I really like Ethereum, okay? I really like Ethereum. Yes, nice, nice break out of this wedge. You know, wipe the lens. Okay, there we go. Should be better now. But it just keeps raining. Wow, man. Yeah, I think Ethereum's gonna continue to outperform Bitcoin, and when things go well, I think Ethereum's gonna have a really nice run. No and just the technicals make so much more upside if it stays above this level. Yeah, dude, Composite Man knew it. 
and he really didn't appreciate you lying about exiting, so he's punishing you. Just kidding, man. Thanks, dude. I saw no, I saw Elon's new tweet. What? You just getting here now? All right, man. I don't know. Just one of those days. So I don't. I mean, the altcoins are fine, dude. They really are fine. Bitcoin, maybe not so much. I don't know. So just keep making these higher lows, and everything will be. It'll work out. So we looked at Bitcoin dominance, and we know it seems. It seems more probable than not that Ethereum or that Bitcoin dominance is going to continue to drop, and that could mean that altcoins continue to pop, right? Like DGB, YFII, FTM, right? Rose, they just go insane. They break inflection points and just go nuts. And then as that's happening, Bitcoin dominance continues to bleed out, and maybe it'll eventually hit that 886, that PCZ of the uh, harmonic. All right. So I don't know if I'm going to do the spaceship stream tomorrow or I'm going to wait until there's actually a reason to do it. You know, I mean, a bullish, like, crazy bullish pump, you know, day when people are happier would be good. I don't know, man. Sure, dude. If you want to see it. Yep, no exploit. The exploit wrecked it. Yeah, you broke the critical level. This is not good. That's that's stop out. I mean, that's like the. Yep, I I just like why you. Can you please have a look at cream? That's some technical damage done, right? And it's real bad when divergence, triple divergence, ends up failing. Again, it was a news-driven catalyst that made it break the support that was so critical, back from September nineteenth of la of last year, not this year. So a year ago, he broke an inflection point about a year ago so you leave it to the imagination to know it could be doing something bad but then i say that and i see this possibly like a shark or a bat doesn't matter because they're the same pattern completion zone All right still more downside even if it's going to be a bat you've got to wait till like 154 and then it's not even the best context of a harmonic right you know you want harmonics that are after the dumps they are created the original not so much these continuations but so there's still more downside on this asset it broke critical support a demand line was broken and a horizontal line support was broken this that's really bad that's just not what you want at all well don't get exploited don't be a trash uh, piece of technology and stuff like this won't happen okay it's bad A lone exploit. Yep. That's that's bad code, man. Bad code happens. Oh, that's why YFII is pumping. It's not because it uh, held a support for like three weeks and had a beautiful textbook hindsight bull flag that market participants around the world identified and said, hey, I want to take a shot on this one. And everyone took a shot on YFII, enough market participants to where that other level, that critical high, could not could not fall back below it. So it marked up, right? It ran out of supply. Supply ran out on YFII, at least locally recently. Total still above $2 trillion. Not near as bad. All right, total is better looking than Bitcoin locally. Yes, remember, Bitcoin just closed right around the same levels from August 26th to 27th, the, the close and open. And this one made a higher, I mean, a, a close that was higher. Why? Because total, the aggregate of all crypto, there's money that entered this market that is in altcoins, not Bitcoin. 
keeping this level higher than Bitcoin's close. So you could understand why Bitcoin dominance is not doing too hot because it's underperforming right now. So some altcoins, not all. Of course, GRT looks amazing on the daily. Yep, yeah, but it's not. It's only up 20%, 25% from the entry. So, and, and that's like, you know, maybe in the course of a month or something, three weeks to a month. So we got a lot, I mean, you know, just compared to other assets, it's not that great. If you compare it to traditional assets, you're outperforming the S&P 500 by over double. And that's an annual, you know, amount, like percentage performance. So yeah, of course, like if you're, you've never participated in a, a traditional market before, yeah, 20% in a month is pathetic, trash. I'm rage quitting, right? But if you understand, you respect what it looks like on the daily and what it where it's at it's above those levels you get it you'll win you'll beat the other person who thinks it's trash because they're impatient and they don't think that it's good enough okay because they're entitled to oh the thousand percent gains i gotta have the next thousand percent pump screw 20 percent in a month that's not good enough so dude thank you grt did i just call you grt sorry dude thanks grt man Oh, to me, it looks actually really good. I mean, people would be like, someone would be like, it's a head and shoulders. It, inter interestingly, it looks like it's trying to uh, give us a type 2 return on a bullish bat pattern. And it's technically a higher low. It did bearish engulfing right there. And it could always come back to 79 to 81 cents. Can we check FTM when break ATHs? I love cream. We already looked at FTM today, but we will. Thanks, Ed. So let's see what happens here. You know, it's uh, the trend's uh, certainly bullish for now. You've not even tested that initial demand line. I haven't tested the 200 day or the 200 moving average on the four hours since pretty much August 4th. I mean, just until it breaks the major level, goes back to history, it's fine. And as long as it doesn't get an exploit on whatever its system is, it should be fine too. But uh, again, on the daily, it looks fine. On the three day, it looks literally fine. Take out more candles. There's like, I mean, no problem right now. It broke out. It's still broken out, but it's just not pumping like other assets. Not many other assets, just some other assets on this market are pumping and outperforming GRT. Yeah, it is not. It is definitely not performing like some other coins. Understandable. And those other coins that are outperforming, a lot of them were identified the same way this was identified. It just those are the ones that market participants bought more of, not this one yet. Yo, dude, can we get analysis on K? Yeah, Kellogg, man, thank you, Conrad. Sure, sure thing. Yeah, FTM that we already looked at. It's up nine percent. Sweet mother of God. Ackman, I couldn't find it. First cream dumped, now I lose $20 more. The cream curse. I'm confused. Thank you, Anonymous, for the threes. Oh no. I'm sorry for your loss. Sorry, man. Hey, at least you don't live in New Orleans and you still have your home, probably. Well, maybe not. Maybe you went all in on cream and lost your home. So you're going to be in a similar situation to someone who just uh, fell victim to Hurricane Ida. So don't do that, man. Tents are uh, at all-time high prices right now. So I'm looking at it. You told me to look at it. But we looked at it already today. And just back at it. It's got immediate fall to price action on the new day, right, within the past... 15 minutes, 16 minutes or so. Uh, FTM running again, testing that wick high back from February 25th. Tested yesterday, tested it again already. Crazy high volume on that pump. So even whatever, like if you wanted targets, or if it did, somehow break all time highs, and it kept run, it started running, like went into price discovery. I don't know, man. That's a crazy run. That's a nonstop run right there, man. These are levels exactly where reversals can occur 
and I just wouldn't be surprised if it did reverse here. But yeah, if it breaks it in crypto, hey man, there you go. It's just one that went insane. 118, $1.18 will be your 1272, 129's your 1414, your 1.618 of extensions, $1.46. So yeah, you're just at it. Maybe add an alert or something. And just so we know, you're paying attention on Psycho Breakout. So dumb. There it was. He's at it again, chat. Oh my god, dude. He says the dark side of OnlyFans, Elon. Hey Mitch, can you look at a reek on Nast? Sure, man, sure. I can. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Kellogg, uh, not really digging it as much anymore. Made a lower high, could have confirmed a top, for sure. Hey, man. Let's go, Ubi man. Thanks, dudes. Yeah, we'll get tribe. Sure. Let's check out the S coin tribe USD on Coinbase. Alright, man. All neat. Got a new band of the wind coming in. Light up. Okay. You break the jar, dude. Look what you've done. Alright, so Kellogg, man, I mean, it had a really nice run. It hit a target of, of a Gartley. It made the high. It sold off. It attempted a rally and it's selling off again. And that could have been a a double top, a lower high double top, and you can just imagine, imagine imagining, you know, imagine imagining. And 886 could take you down to 5787. Think about that. All right, dueling harmonics, the Gartley into a bat, and that would take you. So that would take you down to an old high from 2008 and a high from 2011. That would be a critical inflection point right there where the PCZ is of this structure. So I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Remember, uh, a lot of stonks, all-time highs, and going insane. This one's underperforming so bad. Momentum's so meh. It's so stuck. But, but dude, hey, how, how insane was this trade, man? Right, fifty-seven dollars. PCZ, it ran up and it hit twenty percent. You know, in eighty-seven days, twenty percent in a month. Right, for GRT. So uh, people were grateful for this one. People were happy about this, but people are pissed about GRT. Yeah, man, it's just stuck, dude. I mean, the, the waves, you know, the harmonics will probably play out, but now, to me, it looks like it's about to break a bad action magnitude. Once it breaks $62, see it on Kellogg. It's probably going down to those levels to test them. Yeah. Hey, look, can you be surprised that Bitcoin just confirmed a four hour bearish and golden candle and is pretty much immediately catching some fall of the price action? It's about to be at lower prices than yesterday. Sweet. Our next one. Oh wow, dude! And this one about to test something. No, I think it's uh, falling below. Yeah, this this was it. The composite man's done here. He had his fun. It's over. American Resource Corporation. No thanks, dude. We just be like, move on, move along, sir. Move along, right? If you had just a demand line anchored like that. You've broken it, and you bet you're back testing it as resistance. Uh, this is this one where, hey, it could rally, man, but there are just so many assets to look at and trade. Why would you look at this one? Why would you care about this one? Oh, man. I mean, I'm good, dude. 
I don't see an edge either. There's like nothing implying a reversal here either. If you go from that major low to the high, probably 786. Yeah, it's at the 786 right now. So yeah, it can react and run up and make a lower high and then dump again and head to the 886. It doesn't even have a million volume. I'm just, nah, there's just better assets out there than AREC, undeniably, man. Have you ever heard of Tesla? Elon posting hilarious tweets today, puns. And it's like, it's, it's time to stop projecting and cool off, man, cool off. He also posted that one. It's bat action, not bad action. B-A-T, like the bat, the harmonic. Why would it be called bad action? It's bat. Okay, uh, another request, I believe. Yep, tribe. Looks like it uh, pumped and dumped. Pump and dump, nice. Well, there's like just nothing. I'm looking at the four hour, and it's like, okay, with the little data I have, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this, man. Oh, 72%, it's not even a harmonic. Not even a formal harmonic. Too deep on D for anything. Nothing's 70% retrace. So, Tugafu, watching you in that storm made me cold. Can we look at SNX? Sure, Tugafu, thanks, man. Yeah, winter is coming. See the wind, the wind effects chat. It's on my hands moving. Not a lot of data, but what sir I'm sure you find interesting. Feed us please. Did it just say feed us please? Nice one dude. It's golden wood out here, man. Dude, I don't know, like what do you want me to do here? What am I supposed to do here? Maybe wait till 69 cents or something, I guess? What are you talking about, Todd man? Is it like your anniversary of watching this stream? Do you know? Do you have uh, Do you have your papers? Do you have your Mitch Ray TA viewing papers? You're not allowed to do anything unless you do. No Jesus chimes. Thanks, dude. Alright, anyway. So, in another universe, that's real. So, okay. If Todd's been here in Patreon for a year, and he wants Jesus chimes, so he can have Jesus chimes. There you go, dude. These are you're devoted to you. Holy blessings be upon thee. Amen. Blessings of the charts, of the harmonics, and... All the OGs are with you. <laughs> Dude, there's just nothing to do here. So you're probably down at like 69 cents. Psychological support, of course, just kidding. You asked for it on Coinbase. Oh, you did just sign up? What the heck? Um, are you sure like you just signed up or? You do realize you will be in in a day or two. You'll be if you did join like today. Then R Ryan joined today. Neil joined on the twenty seventh. I don't see that you joined today. No, it does, I, I did not get notified. If you did, man, it's a year late. Oh, you joined for the year? Are you serious? Certainly didn't get notified with that. What the? No, no, the Patreon like is not showing that either, that you did that. Um, I literally have n nothing saying that you've done that. Brad, are you out there? Do you hear that? Maybe it just hasn't gone through yet. I think that happens. Oh, whoops.
Oh, I guess it's on the website. I don't know, man. Patreon's slow sometimes. So, dude. So, he had Jesus Jones, and now he gets... Dude, thank you so much for joining for the year. Seriously. Can we please get some freaking... Thanks, man. That's huge, dude. I, I didn't know, though. So, I was like, what were you talking about? I just didn't... Because I gaslighted by third-party applications... It's normally what happens, okay. That uh, continues to be insane. Um, it broke at 618. And it's headed to 72 to 75 since that's the target. That's kind of been the target. Did what a lot of other assets did, right? Triple bottomed, made a higher low on that third valley. Broke a supply line. And has been running almost non-stop since. And yeah, again, I think you're probably going 72 to 75 cents. That was the case before it was even above 56 cents. The levels were there. They, they were there. So non-stop. No breaks right now. Why am I in the Hopian Fields? What have I said to be in the Hopian Fields? He's talking about Bitcoin made confirmed a lower high on the four hour I'm not hoping it did that's reality reality um i'm a reality um addict okay oh oh sorry i didn't even notice green thread normally tips like 2618 so my bad Yep, Todd, that's, that's big time, man. I really appreciate it, dude. In your moon boy. Yeah, dude. It's just, uh, nothing is gonna really... Even the ones that are, like, pumping and stuff, they're just not gonna do well, man, with this. They're just, they're just, uh, weighed down. They're anchored down. I the macro which is Bitcoin it'd be like a nice asset on the S&P 500 you know that just can't do anything when the macro is dumping so you're thinking maybe 45 2 very possible lower high confirmed that that's why you think you didn't really know you didn't know this time maybe this time really there when it broke back out and then rallied here it's like that was tough man that was that's really really tough so you know four hour this is what you think is going on here minimum seven eight six is like forty five thousand four hundred dollars that it's outperforming Bitcoin, and it's more than it's ever done before. That's what it means. What do I mean that? Dude, it's like literally not hurricaning outside my place because I'm, I'm much more northerly, and it's it's like a tropical storm now. But it's definitely going coming down out there, wind and rain. It's not exactly like this, but uh, it's close, man. So pretty fitting. Man, appreciate all the requests today. Thank y'all. I mean, it's well, Colorado Trader. We we looked at it. Uh, it was we knew there was much further to fall. Nice. Dude, my stream elements is so screwed right now. Daily, but how low can it go? How low can it go? Uh, 40.73% mark cap dominance. That's where it could go eventually. Yep, I mean, it seems like there's a lot more downside. It it hit, it broke B. It broke the bat action magnet move, right? The BAMM. It broke that. So high probability of a markdown to deeper retraces like the 786 or 886. But since we know it's like a, you know, it's probably the 886. 
And here goes Bitcoin. And I'm just continuing to sell off. As long as I'm live, it will dump. Matt, congratulations. Hopefully, uh, well, not hopefully, but it's like, uh, I wish you a long and prosperous career in your new fields. And if it's not going to be that, it's a stepping stone to get you to where you want to be, man. Congrats. So again, the answer to your question. 40.73% market cap dominance on Bitcoin. And that's where, man, I'm just telling you, like, you think about, it already did the M, right? The X, the A, the B, the C, the D, the 886, it reacted violently. Beautiful. And now it's bleeding back out. It's like, that's the context of where you actually want to see harmonics painted. Deep retraces, okay, reaction low, reversal low, stuff, and the harmonic. So, poor Ethereum that wants it so bad, chat. Ethereum can taste the promised land. All time eyes, it can taste it, but it. Not with Bitcoin. No, sir. Uh, most of the time, I enjoy the living crap out of streaming, and it's so fun, but then there are some times where, yeah, it, it can be more, more work oriented. It's normally, it's not really work's fault. It's more so sometimes my inability to balance things in my life than it is this. So sometimes it's like, you know, sometimes people in the chat can be really, really like, you know, hateful and stuff. So, you know, not always, I'm just saying. I have an alert set up, I think, on FTM, so if it really um, goes for real, we'll hear a beep. But I don't know. I mean, I've been live for 2 hours, 13 minutes, and it's been raining the whole time. Bitcoin has been dumping the whole time. So, you know. Oh, music on? Oh, I got, yeah, take a food, my bad, I forgot. Yeah, SNX. So, extremely similar to many other assets in crypto. Has tested an inflection point extremely real, um, $13.50 to $14 again, and has failed. So all you're doing is hoping that the asset can make a higher low than the July 22nd low. So it can continue its uptrend because it did recently make a higher high than the previous high, like on candle closes. But about the same, right, with Wix intraday. But that is big, man. That's a trouble area for SNX. We know if it can break it eventually, it could go straight up to 2425 real fast. But until then, it, it is a resistance and a potential reversal point and it's begun to reverse here and it will continue to reverse as long as Bitcoin continues to sell off. Bitcoin begins to level out and starts doing something again, not looking kind of toppy on the four hour, then this will pivot and probably run again. Eventually, it, dude, it's like a lot of other assets that, I don't know, they're just doing their own thing. They look like everything else the way they bottomed out and then randomly, randomly, SNX just does this, like er, just straight up, oh my God. Like FTM did, like Rose, like, like why have I? I just they, they just can do it, but it's like for now, unable to break its resistance. Very important, and so important that if you break it, the upside potential is seventy-two percent. Wow, there you have it.
Sorry. I'm just, uh, time to get out of here. Get inside. Weather's just getting me now. Uh, not really having that much time to plan the new mixture yet now. 3,000 would be the target on Ethereum if Big One kept dumping. 3K. Easy. Alright, so we know here, problem more downside based on just the local wave structure. The lower high than the previous high. The X, the A, the B, the C, the D. Amen. So thanks for the likes, love, support, contributions, everything in between. I'll be back. Until next time, respect the T. Hey.